Okay, so this video is just going to be me trying to go over what we did in the challenge moon and also just generally how to get all items on this week's challenge moon. So let's get into it. This challenge moon happens to be March. You start off with 450 credits and we end up buying a shovel, 3 TZP, and an extension ladder. For this challenge moon, all four players are going to be split up. You're going to have player one go main. Player 2 is going to be this fire exit here, left of main. Player 3 is going to be this fire exit here. And player 4 is going to be the back fire exit. As for scrap, there is a beehive right here, towards the front of the ship, that you will need to get at some point during the run. In addition, player 2 will also go to this fire exit at the very start of the moon. For the player 1 inside, like mentioned, player 1 is just going to rush straight to main. Player 1 will just immediately run straight all the way to belt room. And so what you're going to do as player 1 is just collect all of these objects. You're going to have 8 objects total. You have yield sign right here, which can be used to kill Thumper that will spawn soon. And so you or player 2 will need to kill the early Thumper spawn. But as player 1, you can go to belt room and collect these 8 highlighted objects. This object here is a fish at the top of a stairwell. As player 2 has mentioned, you're going to rush the fire exit left of the ship. Once inside, you're grabbing 4 objects. You can see them highlighted here. And what you're going to do as player 2 is bring those 4 objects back to ship immediately as fast as possible and open the dropship on your way back. Additionally, after opening this dropship, you're going to want to bring two TZP and a ladder back to your fire exit that is left of main. Upon entering the fire exit left of main as player two, you're going to grab your stop sign that's right at the top of the stairwell, then go down the stairwell and head towards main. You're going to drop off your TZP here at main. Then you're going to rush forward, similar to player one. And you're actually going to go to this spot here to grab a fish that is out of bounds. So you're going to use a ladder clip that will be shown later in the video to push yourself out of map and grab the fish that is in the death pit here as you're falling. After that, it's just going to TP you straight back to main and you will grab these remaining objects that you haven't gotten. Then you just start transfers. As player three, you are responsible for grabbing all these objects highlighted. The fire exit you enter is right here, and so you're going to stay on the same floor. You'll encounter a stairwell where you go upstairs and grab this engine. Then you just go back downstairs and keep heading straight, and you'll eventually come across basically all your loot that you'll grab. You'll head right, and you'll go to the locker room, which has your stop sign, and these other five items, along with a Rubik's Cube that's on this path right here. After getting all that, you're going to head to main entrance to do a single transfer trip for player 1 and player 2. And then you're going to head to the back fire exit to help player 4 do their transfers until everything is transferred from there. As player 4, you will enter your back fire exit for March. You will most likely want to rush deep for apparatus over here. You want to grab those items and these items over here and transfer them to your fire exit as quickly as possible. This is because two thumpers will spawn later in the day. And if you don't get those items fast enough, you can always get the shovel that will be at the dropship. Other than that, you're just grabbing your four other items here and here, and then just transferring those while player three will help you transfer later on. After doing all that, all items should be transferred to ship, and you should have the beehive on ship or have plenty of time to grab the beehive. Then you're just killing three players for an extra 15 credits and you're done with the challenge moon. So here's the challenge moon in action from my perspective. I played as player two. Shit. Running nonchalantly than a yoink. Oh, my line is looking so good right now.
Don't forget where yield sign is. I got it this time. Yay. Here doing this dropping engine technique just gives me a slight boost because you're running with slightly less weight and therefore making you faster overall. It has a minor impact but speeds you up nonetheless. I'm so fast. Holy shit. Here I'm just using a little bit of Player 4's TZP to speed myself up a little. And also bringing their TZP and shovel to ship for when they need it. so fast. Uh... Where's Thumper? He's dead. Nice. First try fish Deep grab would go crazy. First try. Nice. He just fucking shit out of fish. <laughs> <laughs> I almost walked off because I couldn't see anything. Oh. Should be good to sit on shit. Uh, help Ray after. Okay. No way they left me with. Let's move this okay. giant weight.
I love TZP. I love drugs. What? Don't do drugs, kids. You heard it from Red. Don't you do it. Giant's looking at me. Yeah. Uh, Giant's on really me. High stealth. Careful. Um, back. He's good. Maybe on Deuce, actually. No, he's just. Behind. I don't hold think on, he's on. on me. No. Good. I just can't enter the ship. Should I do the bait or? I, be, I don't know how you're gonna get B on ship. We have so much. We have so much time. Yeah, we'll just wait a second. I Let him wander like block or some shit. Oh yeah, I can open door if you need it, Deuce. Yeah. Yeah. You get in. Get in. Nice. There's an engine. Can you grab it since he's not locked on you? There's yeah. an engine right on the rock here. Should be able to grab it from the ladder. He's transferring aggro to you, I think. Nice. Which um, I have the tree blocking the whole time. Pick. And it's just. We just came, right? Uh, s someone missing their own. So here, I made a big mistake and completely forgot my stop sign that I left earlier in the run in the brick room maze. Mm. So to our guests. Did you loot the upstairs stuff? Fred? Yeah. Okay. Did you grabbed my stop sign? Yeah. I think. Did someone miss something? Where was your Where was your stop sign? I was like in brick room somewhere. I think uh, I grabbed I it. Think I, grabbed that then. I mean, I'll go check it, but uh, yeah. get the bees on. I'll lead Giant away yeah. if he aggro's. I don't know. Hmm. What are we missing? That one's on me, Chief. That one's on me. Will I get back with the last item? After getting back with the stop sign, I get great news and learn that Chill has actually died to bees when getting the hive, due to them being hit by Thumper twice previously. And bees are on ship. He's right on it. Does he not see it? Ray, the body? you're right on it. Where's you were body? right on it. Where's where are you? Where where? It's over here. Up here. Yeah, this is the baboon hawk nest. Yeah, it's right there. So I don't. I don't see it. I think. It. Let's, go, let's, go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Lastly, we double check our object count. Rayalot opened two gifts because when opening the gifts, it gave them lower weight, thus speeding them up. And so whenever you open a gift out of ship, it still thinks that there's something out of ship. And that's why it says two objects left because Ray opened two gifts. But doing the scan, let us know that we were full clear.
Easy. GG's. Bang. That wasn't bad. Well done, everyone. Yeah. Only 36. 34 for me. Because because there's cheaters and modders. Yay! GG's. Thank you all for watching. Quick shout out to my Discord and Twitch. Make sure to join the Discord and follow Twitch. I would really appreciate it. But regardless, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And have a wonderful day.